Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the man. She's as always got a uh, run defense video for you today. Today I'm going to be going over uh, a run defense uh, that I also put out last year. Uh, but I still get a lot of people asking me what's the best run defense, what's the best uh, way to stop the run, the best play. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put it out again because ultimately still a lot of people don't seem to know, whether it's on my Patreon or in the comments of my videos. And I always tell them my favorite run defense is at my 4-4 split play. It's the cover two invert out of the 4-4 split. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm gonna pick that. On the offensive side, we're just going to go. There's only really two types of run plays that people really run, and that's mostly stretches and inside zones. So I'm going to show it to you against both. Before I get into the video, though, if you guys could do me a favor, scroll down a little bit, hit the like button. It really helps out my channel. Uh, and if you like what you see, make sure you hit the subscribe button to, to stick around. So as far as the setup goes, that's really simple. I mean, all you really have to do to set this play up is hit your uh, D-pad to the left and down, and hit your D-pad to the right and up. And that's going to basically give you your uh, your setup. If you Like I said, if you watch my gameplays, you see me do this all the time. It's one of the quickest setup defenses in the game uh, this is going to be the user you really have to watch any deep middle routes but most of the time people are going to come out when they're running stretch plays you're coming out in like two tight end sets and stuff like that so you really only have to watch like if uh, if that receiver all the way on the left there um, is, is some, some sort of deep crosser which is pretty rare i mean there's not really a ton of of things that are going to draw you back but you have to keep one eye on that mid read on that middle zone uh, when you run this play the last thing you're going to do is you're going to put the y or you're going to hit y triangle then you hit down on the right stick for underneath coverage and that's pretty much it if you really know if you're like guaranteed that they're going to run you could also press bring these cornerbacks down that's not the end of the world also and this is pretty much the look so like i said anytime you have um, you know any type of outside run you can see for the most part uh, those flats really cover well the Eagles have horrible linebackers, but you can see right there, Riley made the play. <laughs> so it's like there's still a lot of really good, um, you know, even with bad linebackers, it's really all about the hard flats. The hard flats are really going to get it done. Uh, and then, like I said, I mean, you, even when it comes to, like, you don't necessarily have to pinch the defensive line either. I just typically do that. That's more for um, that's more for the inside runs. You can see right there, that run had to go inside. I'll go to the replay. I didn't really get to watch it. I was talking. Uh, but the, uh, the run there, it, it didn't even get to the edge. So I'm guessing that somebody cut that off, uh, which is ultimately the idea of the hard flats. Now, you can see, I'm not guessing run or anything like that. I'm just basically playing it as is. And these guys here, I mean, he dropped back perfectly into that. But I, I was expecting to see them both. So look how he crashes down. He goes right to that area cuts off that outside run i mean if you would have ran it out if you would have stretched it out what would have happened he just would have, he's basically going to stack him and shed to the edge which is perfect that's what i want that's what this does and then ultimately that's why this defensive setup is so good because you really only have the only opportunities you really have are in between this defensive end and these outside linebackers it's going to be right here that's that's one gap you got to keep an eye on and then the other gap you got to keep on is right here but you're within striking distance both times that's what makes this such an easy mode run defense to run so we'll go ahead and we'll do that again. Like I said, the setup is super quick. It's super easy. I'm really, what I'm doing when it comes to the pinching of the defensive line, that's the takeaway inside runs. The spreading of the linebackers is the takeaway outside runs. That's really all there is to it. There's not a lot of science behind this, but the spread's good. A lot of these defenses don't have these type of spreads. And then you can see, I mean, I'm, I got swallow up on the block there, but he's still only getting like two yards. So it's not something that, um, you know, that this doesn't take great usering, although ultimately, I mean, that's really going to help. Uh, aside from the two gaps that I showed you, sometimes you just got to try to get outside. But you can see I'm getting caught and I'm still stopping those outside runs really easily. So like I said, anybody running a stretch against a play like this, this is perfect. Inside runs, this is also perfect because of the, the pinch of the defensive tackles. Um, it just does, there's just not much to this. It's a really easy defense to do. And like I said, I'm, I'm just, I'm just kind of watching the defense stop the run for me. I'm not really doing too much. So when it comes to the inside runs, it's really just the same two gaps that I just showed you in the replay. Um, you know, in between the outside linebacker and the defensive end. Uh, this here, though, this is probably a little bit more my territory because there is the biggest gap here. Uh, is definitely in between the DTs. So this is something where I really have to stick my nose into this area. Uh, but ultimately, this is something that, um, you know, I, I mean, this is this is made for me to, to basically use her more than the outside runs. The outside runs are taken care of with the hard flats. This is more of an area that's going to be my responsibility. Uh, but you can see, I mean, it's not something, it opens up for me. You know what I mean? It's not like I have to, like, stack and shed. I mean, it pretty much opens up and gives me the job right up the middle, uh, which you can see I kind of missed there. But, uh, but this is something that, um, you know, when it comes to inside runs, it's going to be something that you gotta, you're going to be in a perfect position to stick your, stick your nose into it. 
uh, and try to take this away. And like I said, I mean, I'm basically just, now it's just like stealing. So that's one of the reasons I really like it because it has that, uh, it opens that floodgate just like that. So whether it's an outside run or an inside run, uh, you can see it's pretty much going to be easily bottled up. Uh, as well and we'll do this one more time like i said i mean this is just it just walks it just walks right to me the only other tip i would have from this particular uh play is one of my favorite uh inside run stopping videos would be the fs blitz so as well as that works um this is one like if somebody's going to run like a, a goal line package or something like that they're going to run uh you know like a fullback dive on the one or something like that i find that this is a really good play it works the exact same way in this scenario though uh, i would use your, uh, this linebacker here uh, let that guy, let that safety walk down and do the job. I'd also typically guess uh, run, uh, but you can see, I mean, because if you don't guess run, for some reason you get bad animations. I don't know what it is. Uh, like, he would have got stuck there. That was kind of BS. Uh, I didn't, I'm not going to guess run here because obviously I know it's a run, so it's kind of cheating. But ultimately, I would guess run on a play like this um, if I'm going to run it. Because you can see, I mean, he's getting, they're, they're getting that stop. They're sticking their nose right in that gap. Uh, but ultimately, like I said, you might get some bad animations. You don't, you get more aggressive animations if you guess run, where they basically just like pound through and get those those quicker stops. As you can see right here, that's that's the same thing. Like I said, you get those animations sometimes, but this is still one of the better defenses when it comes to short yardage. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see a pass defense like this, I have a really good pass defense I want to put out in gameplay next. Do me a favor, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get. Exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.